Okay, again, this is a series. Check out the annotation for the full playlist we've been playing with said, and today we're going to be looking at removing comments from a script, uh, in particular, in this case, a bash script. So if I cat out, I have a file here I created just for this tutorial called script. You can see it's a bash script, and you got your shebang line, you got some comments, you got some code, then you got another comment, and you got another comment here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove all comments. Uh, so you might think uh, if we went said we can say um, to do this we'll give it a script file and we will say D we know means delete and we can say every line with the pound symbol. So we do that and we get our basic code but we have two problems. The first one being uh, we're missing our echo line here because it had pound. Okay, so that, that's a simple uh, fix, because uh, we're going to go comments, uh, lines that start with pound. I mean, I mean there, are, like, there could be some lines that have uh, uh, comment at the end of the command, but for this tutorial, we're talking about ones that are at the beginning of the line. Um, so we can do that. We can say find all lines that have a pound symbol at the beginning, and we could hit enter. And that fixed our little echo line here for echoing out the title. But you notice that we're still missing our shebang line. If we cat out our script file, uh, all script files should start with a uh, shebang line. That tells your operating system, oh, this is a bash script, or this is a C shell script, or this is a sed script, or an aux script, or a Python script, or a Perl script. It's not necessary. You can always start the command with bash, and if bash is your default shell, it will default to it, but it's always good to have it. It's just, you know, one step towards being a better programmer, because if you leave that out, uh, you know, and the end user doesn't know to start it with bash, and they're using a different shell, it will try to run, and, and it will just cause problems. So we want to remove all the comments, but keep that line. And the way we're going to do that is not too different from what we already have, but what we're going to do is before we say find all that start with the, the pound symbol, we're going to say one exclamation mark. And then we're going to say put this command inside uh, uh, curly braces there with a uh, semicolon at the end there. I'm pretty sure the semicolon has to be there. Anyway, what this is doing is saying skip the first line and then start to search here. So we're going to hit enter here and you can see we have our our bash script there. Um, so if I was to change this from a 1 to a 2, it would now skip two lines and then start. So we don't get our our bash uh, shebang line because it's ignoring everything before line two. It's going go to line two and then start searching. So we're say, you know, s or I'm sorry, skip the first line. Here we're saying, yeah, start at the first line and then everything after that remove. This one's going, you know, skip the first line, go to the second. So it's not even displaying the first line. So for our example, we are skipping the first line. Then we're going to search for all lines that begin with the pound symbol, number symbol, um, tic-tac-toe symbol, whatever you call it. I know different countries call it different things. Um, and then we're going to delete all those lines that, that meet this requirement from this. And again, we're changing the output here. We're not changing the actual file. If we wanted to, we would do our dash I for... Uh, in file, in line, whatever it stands for. Or we could always redirect it into a new file if we wanted to. So that is removing comments, at least a basic way of removing comments from a script file if you wanted to, for some reason, short, shorten it down for some reason. Um, you know, it also, like I said, in this case, the, some of the comments would could be the, you know, the the creator of the script and the license and you don't really want to be removing that stuff but for personal use maybe for some reason you need the file to be shorter or you're just trying to make it easier to read you're like ah, i don't want to see all the comments i just want to see the code whatever your reason there you go thank you for watching be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this playlist uh this is like the 13th or 14th video 
Um, there should be an annotation on the screen. Check it out. Uh, also, um, check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. Be sure to like, subscribe if you enjoy these tutorials. Check out my other videos on Wednesdays and Fridays on other topics, but every Monday for the last couple of weeks and for the next couple of weeks, we'll be working on set on Mondays. Um, so keep on checking them out. Uh, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.